The effort to get more children to read books just got a whole lot easier with the pop-up store on the city's west side. It's happening in North Lawndale, and here to share the good news is Eric Johnson. He is the executive director of Open Books. Good morning, Eric. Nice to see you again. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me again. It's a pleasure. Well, it seems like these pop-ups are everywhere now, but it's not often that we read about a pop-up bookstore that allows people to pay what they want for a book. Tell us how this works. Sure, it's pretty simple. Um, it's, a, it's a model we piloted last fall at our Pilsen location in which adult titles are pay what you can, so adults can come and name their price for any number of books they want, and all children's books are free. And so and in that, we're encouraging family literacy and getting more books into the home so that especially as kids are catching up after the pandemic, uh, we're equipping them and their parents, their caregivers, other adults uh, to read together and promote literacy within the house. So you said this was something you guys kind of put together last year. What kind of a reaction have you gotten? I'm curious, like, how are the kids reacting and the parents? I think people are somewhere between surprised and enthusiastic and all of the above. We've had a tremendous reaction. Um, the, the most recent pop-up is in the Lawndale pop-up spot, which is on the boulevard, uh, which, you know, right there in, uh, in North Lawndale. We'll have people uh, walking by and go, oh, I had no idea this was here. Um, and they'll stop and they'll spend time with it. They'll peruse the titles, they'll get excited, uh, they'll tell their friends. So we couldn't be more excited about the reaction that we're getting uh, from adults and children alike. So I understand that there's a large a Latino community that's gonna benefit from this as well. Do you expect that you guys will be providing some books in Spanish as well to include some from their culture? Sure, we've already been doing that in our Pilsen location uh, in North Dominantly Black. Um, we are curating titles that reflect more mirrors and sliding glass doors and, and windows for the particular population there. So we're really listening uh, to what uh, residents of individual neighborhoods want, and our team is responding by curating books uh, that meet the needs and the interest uh, of different residents. In Pilsen, we have one of the largest collections of Spanish language books. Um, and then, of course, uh, Pilsen historically for the past many decades has had uh, tremendous Spanish speaking population. So if you see one bookstore that's uh, one of our bookstores in one neighborhood, it's, they have a little bit of a different flavor relative to the next one. Oh, that's great. So obviously you're trying to help as many people as you can promote literacy. Where does the funding come from this? How do you guys pay for this and, and where can people help you? Absolutely. Uh, we are an interesting model. Um, first off, we collect about a million and a half to two million books every year. We grant a good uh, chunk of those to folks that lack access. We also put those on our store shelves and sell them online, the revenue of which helps to underwrite our programs. We also are philanthropic, uh, philanthropically inclined. Anyone who wants to make a gift, big or small, can make a gift on our website. We have a donate button uh, pretty prominently at the top uh, na navigation bar. People can also donate books. Um, cash is always king, as you know. Yeah. Uh, but any of those things help to support our work. Yeah, you know, I wanted to ask you about that because we all have a ton of books at home that, you know, when you're going through your spring cleaning or fall cleaning and you're trying to decide, what am I going to do with all these books? Because there's something that's just inherently wrong about throwing a book away, right? So what kind of books are you looking for and what will you accept? We accept all of the above. So we will take any book. Our team has dozens of years in the book industry. They can look at it and know exactly the right place for that book to go, whether it is in the form of a grant. And we have several different lines through which we grant books. And again, in our stores or online uh, for sales, it can be cookbooks, adult fiction, uh, foreign language books, board books, uh, young, uh, young readers, so on and so forth. If you get it to us, we will make sure that it gets into the right place. Oh, that's so great to hear. Okay, tell us what difference this makes in a young child's life if you had the opportunity to to maybe see their reactions. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Well, I mean, it, literacy, and I, you know, this is what Open Books is all about. We are about transforming lives through books, reading and writing. And so when we see children that are able to engage in books, especially books that speak to their interests or open up a new world for them, something that they may not have experienced before, that is a light bulb going off. It helps to complement everything that they're doing in daycare or in school or with their peers. So that thing, one book or one small set of books can create a tipping point of inspiration for kids to become lifelong readers and, and lovers of reading.
Absolutely. I love what you guys are doing. Okay, tell everybody the website so we can make sure that you get the help that you need and also the location. So if they want to drop off those books, they know where to go. Absolutely. So if you go to www.open-books.org, there is a donate books button as well. There's a number of different ways you can donate books to us. We have our two uh, hard physical locations on Lake Street, 651 West Lake, and then on 19th Street at uh, in Pilsen. Um, if you go to the website and click on that button, you will also see several different drop boxes and you can also schedule a pickup with, which our team will come pick up books for you if you are in a certain zone, but it covers most of Chicago and, and, and several areas wow. in the suburbs. Oh, that is so great to know. Keep up the good work. Other people can help you, you and you're helping them. So we appreciate your time. Thank you for having me again. It's a pleasure. Our pleasure. Still ahead. The